Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I have an awesome accessory for the Steam Deck, and it's a magnetic detachable back mount power bank for the Steam Deck, of course. Now, this was sent to me like a couple weeks ago, so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. So that's what I'm doing in this video. Like you see here in the back, it shows you um, how to use it. It shows you what's in the box, and it also shows you a couple parameters there for the type C input, type C output, the battery capacity is 16,000 milliamp hour battery and the product weight, which is only 410 grams. That little battery that includes right there. Here in the front, we got that 45 watts um, power delivery for fast charging. Uh, keep in mind the 45 watts that this actually delivers to the Steam Deck is actually the same amount of watt that the, the block, that the brick comes with the Steam Deck. So you're not adding more or less. You're actually getting the real same power that you get with the standard block for the Steam Deck. Um, here, it comes with the battery right here. It comes with these cables, short cables, so you can use it while it's attached to the system. You have a longer cable, of course, USB to USB-C, so you can use it as, uh, you know, without being attached to the system, or you can also connect it to another device like the smartphone. And here you got the back portion of the device for the Steam Deck. Other than that, there's nothing more in the box. And let's go and show you guys here the battery. This is the battery. Of course, this is from Antank. And here it is. This is how it looks. It has this button right here, which turns it on and it lets you see how much capacity it has. It says four little LEDs. So it goes to 100 um, capacity. So right now it's full and has some rigs here. See that? Ridges there. And of course, it has a one port right here. And that is it. Here in the back, it also shows you uh, the model and, of course, the capacity of the battery and all the specs right there for the battery as well. And that's it. And over here, we're going to need the switch, the, the Steam Deck, of course, because this thing right here is the thing that's going to go the behind the Steam Deck. And like you see here, it has this opening right there, has this right here, and that's because it's made so it can actually prevent blocking like see there it prevents from blocking the exhaust or the intake same thing over here like you put it right there it won't block the entrance or out of the of the heat same thing over here good and that's it so that's how it actually looks when you have it on from the front you see only this option right here and this right here uh keep in mind when it's actually hooked to this um, you cannot, the only negative thing is that you cannot put a case on it because this is actually occupying some space. So putting a case over this is not going to work or putting this over a case is not going to work because this is made for the exact dimensions of the Steam Deck. So don't try putting this over a, a case because it's not going to work. Um, here on my dock, it still docks. This is the iVolder dock that I've been using since day one. And like you see here, I can still dock it and charge it without any problem with that thing right there on. Um, there you go, I wanted to show you that. And of course, here, this is incredible because look how strong this magnet is. <laughs> it is super, super strong. And it's also, it also makes it kind of hard. You actually have to apply pressure to take it off. Look at that. And it's so strong that you can actually hold, you can actually hold the damn um, um, steam deck from the damn battery. That's how strong it actually is. Look at that. That's insane. So what we're gonna do here to make it work is just connect one USB C here, right? One USB C there. The other USB C. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna go ahead and put it like this. That way. You know, that way it actually doesn't stick out the cable. And this is basically how is it going to look when you actually have it connected and wired to the Steam Deck. That's it. And right now, like you see, I can go ahead and play video games. With it attached there. And of course, the cool thing is that oh 
<laughs> it adds a little bit of weight, but it's not that much, honestly. And considering the battery life that you actually get here, because remember, this is 16,000 milliampere hour battery. So the Steam Deck itself is around 5,300, a little bit over 5,300 milliampere hour batteries. So that means that this can technically charge the Steam Deck a little bit over two times the, um, the Steam Deck from zero to 100, like about two times. So, and it's, you still get a little bit extra battery life. So that's the cool thing about it. And, um, you know, w once you're playing, you know, it doesn't really feel that heavy. Okay, let me see. Ooh, look at that. I actually got the helmet. <laughs> nice. Okay. So yeah, the cool thing is that you're going to get a lot more battery life. Now this is something that I wish I had when I was playing um, on Dying Light. Because with Dying Light, I was playing a lot and a full battery life would last me like around... A full battery life would actually last me like around uh, like around two hours. Oh, let me pause it right there. Also, keep in mind you can charge your smartphone as well. So if I take the battery off, right? I take the battery off, and I connect it to the uh, smartphone. The smartphone will actually recognize as fast charging. Look at this. Let's go ahead here. This is the 7 Pro, the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Boom. Charging. And look at that. Charging rapidly. 14 minutes of full charge. So it actually recognizes that this is a fast charging device. And it's going to charge rapidly your smartphone. So that's one cool thing about it. Of course, uh, this cable is meant to be for the Steam Deck. But if you're gonna use like a smartphone or something like that, you can use the longer cable, which of course it's around three foot long. And it's around three foot long, and that way you can charge your smartphone or you can charge any other device. Any other device. But like you see here, it actually recognizes as charging rapidly as a full charger, which that is awesome. And of course, you can also play in charge your device like this as well if you think that's too heavy and you prefer to charge it like that even when you're playing um this will actually continue to charge your device okay it will continue to charge your device even as you're playing right now like you see here it was on 30 it's already at 32 percent so even when you're playing it will continue to charge your device that's the great thing about it of course the price for this goes for around $59 on Amazon. I'll leave links in my descriptions for this. But like you guys know, there's always discounts on the store and Amazon. And right now, I think last time I checked, I think they they actually had like a 10% discount, something like that. So yeah, keep that in mind. There you go. Put it that right there. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Keep in mind, when you buy things from Amazon, if you don't like the whatever you purchase, you can always turn it in for free. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.